Right then, are we ready? Uh, so it says example four. So it says calculate the acceleration of an object with a mass 12 kilos and the forces acting on it are 21i plus 16j and minus 12. All right, minus 12i plus 20j. So I've got two forces here, haven't I? Force one and force two. So let's find the resultant force first. So that's going to be adding them together. So what have we got? So 21 and 16 minus 12 and 20. So my resultant force will be 9, is that a 20 there? And a 36. I'm going to use F equals MA. Because that's what I want to work out the acceleration. So my force, my resultant force is 936. My mass is 12 and my acceleration is there. So 12 lots of the acceleration is 936. So if I divide through by 12, so I've got 9 divided by 12 is 3 quarters. And 36 divided by 12 is 3. So that's my acceleration as a vector. If I wanted the magnitude of acceleration, I'd just have to stick it into um, stick it into Pythagoras, which I will need for this now for the SUVATs. So for part B, it says, given that the object starts from rest, find the distance traveled in the first five seconds. So I, I need the magnitude of A for that. So 0.75 squared plus 3 squared. So my magnitude of my acceleration is roughly 3.09 meters per second squared. So if I sue at it, I want to find S, U is at zero, V I'm not bothered about, A is 3.09, and T is 5. So I want one without V, so that's going to be S equals UT plus a half A T squared. So S is 0 lots of 5 plus a half lots of 3.09 times 5 squared. And that gives 38.7 metres. There you go. So that's on 2 minutes 40 now. So there's a question for you that follows, hopefully, exactly the same stuff. There, A, B, C. Oh, we still look at that, it's done the normal as well, but there. The normal for the table, or whatever it is, what it's sat on. Right, is there more? Have we got more, or is this it? Yay, consolidation excited too. So that's the end of that pack. So well done, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.